We have a marine debris problem. How do you change someone's mind? Physiological and neural information might become a norm in the somewhat distant future of apps. So it's important to start thinking about what rights individuals have for their rich neural and behavioral data. The world's oceans are our most critical resource. But what you can't see from above the surface is that our living coral reefs are slowly dying. Surveillance technology is incredibly invasive for all it captures, but it is especially detrimental to the black people it targets. For my research, I looked into why generally accepted methods of persuasion, such as giving evidence or pointing out flaws, often fail. In my research, I used an algorithm called You Only Look Once or YOLO V5 to build a marine debris image classifier. In my exploration of the augmented undercommons, I studied three attempts at liberatory technology. I analyzed how these systems differed from their predecessors while considering the ways in which they replicated existing societal flaws. Artificial reefs are habitats that are made up of materials other than living corals, but the services that they provide, such as shelter, create suitable habitats for fish species to aggregate and allow corals and sponges a place to attach. Regardless of how they come into existence, companies can begin to imbue ethical design into their core values. Privacy policies and terms of services could be more transparent and easier to understand. Badges or icons describing consumer-producer contracts akin to how Creative Commons licenses can be made into human-readable formats could be designed. In today's connected world, it's crucial to understand why people act the way they do. Additional research into how people maintain and reinforce their beliefs is necessary, as well as research into successful persuasion methods. The YOLO V5 classifier and centroid tracking technique could be a viable option for estimating the abundance of marine debris on shorelines and at sea. The Augmented Undercommons is a network of maroons who uncover and design their own liberation from our digital society. And this process of building a rocket beneath ground before sending it flying through the sky reminds us all that we must go low before we can go high. The ocean has the power to heal itself. We just need to provide resources for it to do so and continue to create artificial ecosystems to protect our fragile living ones.